Well, joining us here in the studio for International Podcast Day, we're going to be joined first of all by Spencer Lodge. He has got the Spencer Lodge podcast, but he's more than that. He's a business strategist, investor. He's an award-winning podcast host. He was once labelled in the top 100 most influential people in Dubai, and he's helped thousands of people find their motivation and become uh, the best version of themselves. Spencer, thanks for coming in the studio. Sounds cool, doesn't yeah, it, when you hear it? Read it out again, do it again, do it again. <laughs> well, you know, isn't the old slogan, you are what Google says? You are absolutely, yeah. <laughs> you don't believe your mum anymore, you believe Google yes. first, don't you? Yeah, correct. Mom, you're wrong. Look, congratulations on your podcast. You know, I mean, you've worked as an author, you worked as a speaker, but what, what made you want to do the podcast? The, the podcast started by accident. I was asked to do a podcast by Raj, who works with Vic for probably a year, mm-hmm. and I'm like, Why would I want to do one of those? For goodness sake, you know, what's the point of that? And then I started it. And once I did, it turned out to be the thing that I love doing the most without a shadow of a doubt. And so you get an opportunity to to connect with people. You talk to people and you learn about their stories and you learn about the challenges they face and what they've overcome. And when you meet people that have got inspiring stories to tell, it really helps you connect with them. But then the audience connect with how they feel about themselves, how they feel about life, what troubles they face. And they also know themselves that other people have gone through that kind of stuff too. So to be honest with you... um, it's a real it's a real kind of like a, a safe and pleasurable and enjoyable space that i can spend my time meeting real people talking about real stories it's a very interesting point that you make that you meet real people meet people and get to know about their struggles their lives their journeys but for for the first thing when you when you started your first podcast off i'm sure that that was never in the trajectory that i will get to meet so many people you, you know and and that is the hiccup that everyone has who wants to start a podcast they think that oh you know maybe i'll probably invest in a mic i don't really have the money right now uh, once i have a better mic i will start my journey in podcasting what is that one thing that one needs to start a podcast Look, the reality is you don't need anything to start a podcast because it's free you literally can download an app on your phone. You can use your headphones on your phone or you can even use the microphone on your phone if you really want to get started on a budget. So there is no excuse. The only excuse is the stories you'll tell yourself about why you're not good enough or your voice might sound like this. A lady said to me the other day, yeah, but my voice is too high pitched. I need a deeper voice to be a podcaster. I was like, you're nuts. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, you've got a great voice. She's like, really? I don't, I'm so insecure about it. So it's just the stories you tell yourself. Of course, when you progress and you start to get into it, like any sport any hobby you know you start off if you learn to play golf and you borrow a set of clubs don't you when when you get good you start to buy a set of clubs maybe you buy the shoes and the podcast is the same you just get into it but you start making videos it's all the same you can do everything with your phone to start with and that's why it's accessible to everybody and there really is no excuse for anybody not to try you've done something like 200 podcasts of your show what are some of your favorite episodes you've done I've had some incredible guests, really incredible guests. So I had Tony Robbins on. He came and spent time on the show. We filmed with him live. That was amazing. I had a guy that was on death row for 20 years for a crime he didn't commit. Um, and after 20 years was, was let out because of DNA evidence. And he told that story. And I didn't speak for 45 minutes. Wow. I didn't say a word as he told this story. I was just, my jaw was wide open. I've had people that have gone through unimaginable experiences. I've got people that have done heroic things. Now, what I've learned in business is that success is measured in numbers. Typically, numbers are to- associated with money, yeah? Right. That's not success. That's mm-hmm. absolute rubbish. The most successful people I've ever been with a guest on my podcast that have done something for humanity. I have a lady called Maria Conciasau. She's taken 682 kids out of the slums of Bangladesh and educated them all internationally after being cabin crew for Emirates. I had a, we were filming recently in Nepal. Another lady's taken 700 kids out of the slums of Nepal. Okay, and she literally has changed the lives, lives of 700 kids. There are some incredible stories out there. I mean, there's some that I can't even talk about on here because they just they'll blow people's mind as to what people have been through. But what it has taught me is what people will overcome what challenges people will face and then they'll overcome. So one quick example, Maria wanted to do a lot of work for these girls. And so she Googled how to raise money for charity. The first thing that came up on Google was climb Everest. Now that's the biggest mountain in the world for someone that's never ever done sport. Right. For anybody else, and I climb mountains, that's a massive challenge. She Googled it. She saw that's what she had to do. And so she trained and did it. Wow. But Incredible. She's the first Portuguese lady to ever do it. And I said to her, Maria, this is the biggest mountain in the world. How did you get your head into the gear? She's like, I had to help the kids. 
So her brain space was, I need to solve this problem for these children, not I need to climb the biggest mountain in the world. So right. the mountain was literally an obstacle to her achieving this massive, massive achievement. It actually reminds me of, of there's a very famous uh, executive in Australian business. His name's Todd Sampson. And when he interviews people, he asks them, how have you helped humanity? It was the first question he asks him, but asks anyone. And, and the strange thing about him was that to, when he decided to climb Mount, Emperor, uh, Mount Everest, he flew to New Zealand and just looked up Sir Edmund Hillary in the Yellow Pages, and uh, <laughs> uh, who climbed Mount Everest, right, yeah, and literally time. went over to his house and rang the buzzer and said, hey, can I come in? And everyone went, yeah, sure, come on up for a cup of tea. And that's how he got the, uh, how he wanted to climb Everest. <laughs> so sometimes it's, it, it's it, what people find amazing about that story is, the the message you tell yourself is oh he won't answer the phone oh he won't let me in but he went no he gave it a go mm. um, so I couldn't agree with you more I mean the, these types of stories are stories and there are many mm -hmm. but I think a lot of people just don't understand what a podcast really is for they don't really understand how it how it can help them and how it can work for them I don't think there's a better business development tool that exists commercially than a podcast. Mm -hmm. Imagine this let's say we were in the let's choose an industry let's say we were in the electronics industry. And we wanted to do business with companies that were in the electronics industry. We could approach 100 of the CEOs of those 100 companies we want to do business with. We invite them onto a podcast. Mm -hmm. We interview them. We build rapport like we're doing right now. We get to know their story. They, right. they're, in, they're sharing their story. Two weeks later, we call them up and say, can I buy you a coffee? Are they going to say yes or no? Definitely. Of course yes. they're going to say yes. yes. They're going to say yes for sure. You have a coffee with them and then you can talk about business. It's such a brilliant tool for so many different things. Business development, building relationships, learning about you know, what people are doing in the world. You know, we'll get to Vic because Vic's made about 300, 300 or 400, 300 yeah, or 400 yeah. podcasts soon. But just, just on your point there, Spencer, is that because fundamentally, and social media has done this so well, where people want to deal with people and sometimes in business, great CEOs, I mean, look at Gary Vaynerchuk. People see what Gary does, so they want to do business with him rather than his business. Is that an example of podcasting can allow people to share more of their story or their company story? I think machines don't make decisions on who's going to buy or sell a certain product. People do. And if you want to do business with the CEO of a company, you're going to need him to make a decision. So you need to make that human connection. And that's the thing that a podcast does. Whether you do it in a studio, whether you do it online using one of the, you know, the software platforms that exist, you can connect with people and have real conversations and not, not fabricated business conversations, like right. real honest conversations about people's lives. And when people get a chance to talk about themselves and share their stories they naturally inspire others and that is so powerful yeah it's incredible today's yes. international podcast day uh, so we're joined in the studio by spencer lodge from the spencer lodge podcast uh, we'll also switch over to vic uh, vic majaria you work for the creative agency something like three or four hundred podcasts you've made here uh, in dubai what are businesses really going on what spencer had to say what do you find businesses are really using podcasts for at the moment so here's the thing about podcasts and businesses. What's really interesting is that businesses are always trying to find ways to communicate with their customers, potential customers, existing customers, not just their customers, anyone in their business ecosystem, whether that be suppliers or partners. And, and the podcast is an opportunity to do that. But here's what's really interesting. That's where the people are. Hmm. So now if you think about a business and any brand that wants to communicate their message, if they were compelled to make websites in the 90s yep. if they were compelled to start making videos in the 2000s or 2010s well the 2020s are the time is is the time to start making podcasts so that's where the people are there's hundreds of millions of people listening to podcasts on a daily basis and it's really really likely that someone or a number of people that would want to do business with you whether it's a customer or a supplier or a partner listens to podcasts right. that's where the people are mm -hmm. and you mentioned Gary V you know he talks about going to where the people are you know he's a good friend of ours we've worked with him half a dozen times and we've learned a lot from him and that's something that he preaches people are listening to podcasts and business businesses would do well and you know to think about starting their own podcasts they become the right. media yeah but now now you mentioned that businesses have to do and in you know it's it's probably the early wave and not a lot have actually you know jumped onto this wave how much does it cost to have a decent podcast, uh, like you know, Spencer mentioned that you just need a Is phone. Is Vic making it or something? <laughs> nah, well, you, you, no, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I don't have budgets. Yeah, yeah, how much do I cost? Is that the real question? Okay, well, look, he, he, here's the real answer to this, and this is the great news. 
Spencer said base is effectively nothing. Precisely. You take your phone. If you've got a smartphone, mm -hmm. you take your phone out of your pocket. And I'll give you the exact instructions. You go to the app store, whichever one it is. You download an app called Anchor.fm. Anchor.fm is owned by Spotify, which is the world's largest music and podcast platform. It's actually called Music and Podcast. You can record using the microphone into the app. It's as easy as recording a voice note. You do that, and by the time we finish this episode, uh, b b this uh, radio interview, someone could do that and publish their own podcast. Anchor FM then takes that and distributes it to Google Podcast, Stitcher, Apple, Spotify. So that's on the one. That's on one end. On the other end, you can start investing. You can look at the types of microphones that Joe Rogan uses. Mm -hmm. They're about four or five hundred dollars, and they're pretty common in the professional podcasting world maybe get yourself a laptop some audio editing equipment and a couple of stands and some cables might run you about fifteen hundred dollars max two thousand you'd be hard pressed to spend more than that right but if you're starting out what i said about you know taking your phone you shouldn't even be thinking about spending the money do that first get used to it figure out your your tone of voice what you want to say your formats how you want to present yourself and then you start thinking about plugging a microphone into your phone into your phone then you start thinking about these microphones it has to be done in stages but you can literally start within five minutes if you've got something to say from your phone and actually something you know Spencer obviously mentioned we were there at the very beginning of him recording his podcast and you know you wouldn't consider yourself a very technical person but we've noticed that you've upgraded your equipment a few times over the years but you've done it in stages would that be fair to say I'm still not a technical person. <laughs> <laughs> I just have technical people. So you go from, I went from outsourcing it then to building a team myself. And mm -hmm. so that, that team are like, what are you using that for? What are you using that for? You need the okie dokie one, two, three. Oh, that's one of the best, isn't it, Vic? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get a good deal on that one for you. <laughs> Yeah, look, it, I mean, it is amazing when you look at it. That, you know, there's the old analogy that if the first episode you make is really, really good, you probably waited too long before you started. Because mm -hmm. uh, when you look back at some of the biggest content makers and then you go back three or four yeah. years and see their first episode, you're like, wow, that was really, that was really ordinary when they started out. Yeah. Let, 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 me, let me give people some perspective here because my journey is three years in. 200 episodes from the 200 episodes i've interviewed some of the greatest thought leaders in the world i've built personal connections with people that i would never have access to normally and i'm making a tv documentary from the podcast about human trafficking which is an area that we focused on some time ago that that has all come from me interviewing people on my podcast and and again y you can do it with lots of equipment or not but if i can do it you know i'm 52 years old i'm not a technical guy i'm not a, not a media guy i'm not you know i'm not that kind of person i don't come from that world but if i can do it everyone can well, that, that's fantastic the statement that you make over here everyone can you made it very simple for anyone who wants to start off uh, because and then i ask these questions because i've had barriers uh, you know when i wanted to start my youtube channel it never took off because I was like, oh, no, this camera is not that great. Maybe, you know, I need a wider uh, lens or probably a better place to sit and do interviews. I have my, I had my niche very well defined, but I still didn't go for it because I had these barriers. And I know that these barriers were never broken. And, and, and despite the fact that I come from media, despite the fact that I talk on the microphone every day, I never had that issue. But, well, challenges were there. Now, now Spencer, you're also a mind set coach what would your advice be to someone like uh, Neil in that situation okay l let me give a couple of examples here number one what's that, that story you're telling yourself because it's you telling you that story it's not real True. it's nonsense it's just you telling yourself a story and that's because it's easier not to do it than it is to do it I agree if you wanted to start a podcast you can go to this wonderful website okay it's www.youtube.com and you can write in that website, how do I start a podcast? And there's a gazillion videos there of people going, this is how you do it. Right. Okay, so there's no excuse not to start it. And the same as you know, opening a YouTube account or whatever it might be. The answers are on the internet. Whether you watch video, you read words, the answers are there. So first of all, stop telling yourself that it's a bigger deal than it is. Stop trying to justify yourself. Remember, remember how our brains work. We have conscious and subconscious. Our subconscious brain is our risk management tool. The subconscious brain wants you to lay on the sofa, eat the Cheetos, and watch the cricket, okay? Leave the remote control on your chest and chill. 
That's what your subconscious brain wants you to do. Your conscious brain, okay, is what needs to overrule that and start making decisions for you, which makes you get off that sofa and go and do something. And this is where you need to remember, get out of that space, force yourself, talk yourself into stuff rather than talk yourself out of stuff. Right. Don't hang around with people that tell you it can't be done. Literally, you, you know it can be done. You know it. You're looking at me. I can yeah. see with all your body language right now. You're looking at me going, yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's real, isn't it? It's true. It is. It's kind of like, and, and, and sometimes you need someone to come and just give you a little bit of a, like, a little bit of a shake. Yeah. And just say, come on, this is nonsense. You know it is. Okay, let's give ourselves a plan. Let's write a list of actions down that we need to take. Okay, and let's deal with one at a time. Okay, let's get that scheduled in. Right, what are we doing at 9.15 tomorrow morning? Okay, we're going to learn how to upload a video, for example. Okay, what are we doing at 9.45 tomorrow morning? What we're going to do is we're going to learn what's the best mic to use to make whatever, yeah? Right. What are we doing at 10 o'clock tomorrow? We're going to learn what's the best camera to use, okay, or how to use my phone camera the best. Fair. This is easy. This is really it. There's people out there putting... But then rockets into meteors. In space. Spen know, Spencer, you've you just been talking about microphones. I'm ready to run through a brick wall now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to do it all. <laughs> You can look, the funniest no, thing about no. it all is you can do anything you set your mind to and you need to stop telling yourself what you can't do. You look at wonderful cricket players, yeah? They do wonderful things. They're, 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 they're superheroes in India, right. yeah? But where do they start? Obviously. Probably at the same place that everybody else started. True. They just believed a little bit more. They took a little more action. They focused on their, their nutrition a bit more. They, you know, they became obsessed with it. Uh, yeah. And that became everything that it did. The reality for all of us is we just have to stop talking ourselves out of stuff because the world has so many opportunities. I am making a TV documentary about human trafficking. Me. It's like, I'm doing that and that's all coming. So, so I, I've never done anything like that before. And I'm 52 right. years old and I'm doing it. Come on, we can all do stuff. Yeah, just on, just on to you, Vic, yes. I want to add to that, actually, because, I mean, from a mindset point of view, take everything Spencer said and run with it. But for anyone listening and, and to kind of answer what you said, the equipment is one thing. Now, we teach something in our, in our workshops, in our training programs that, you know, you, you want to think about quality. Does it really matter? Well, yes, but not as much as value. So when we start hmm. thinking about the challenges that people have around making podcasts or even starting to make a podcast, it's what value are you bring in, okay? And you trace that back even more. The fear is actually, am I actually going to give value? Am I actually going to demonstrate value? Is anyone going to care? And that's the problem that a lot of people have. Yeah. So where does that come from? That comes from the fear of, you know, putting yourself out there. So now the only way to get over that from a, a contextual point of view when you're making a podcast and creating the content is just to say what is my niche what do I love what am I obsessed about what am I passionate about what do I know about and start from there mm. so if you create it from an authentic place and you add value in and you add relevance in someone out there because remember there's millions of people that listen to podcasts there's sure. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of podcasts um, uh, you know Topics and topics yep. and everything that people are interested in. Sure, someone's going to be interested. Yeah, Neil, uh, Neil, there's someone out there that loves chocolate, cricket, and strength and conditioning just as much as you. See, there you go. I mean, I, I, <laughs> as I said, you know, <laughs> my, my no, niche no, no, is, no, but there is. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You know what's so crazy, right? In, in individually, those topics, you right. can talk about them. But the three together you could talk about as well because there will be people that li like all three of those things. Yeah. No, see, that, that's exactly what it is. You know, when I said that, listen, okay. I, I, I love my niche. I, I have my niche cut out absolutely clearly. Uh, cricket is one of the strength and conditioning and, and my love for chocolate is like literally world known now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it will be when you start a podcast, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, so, so this is a bit... So my niche was absolutely clear cut. But this the same thing. The, the fear of am I adding value to the, the, the ocean? I mean, there, there are people who are doing it. There are guys who've been probably doing it for way longer. I've got the, I've got the title of the podcast. Go yeah, what, what, what is it, Spencer? Okay, it's Cadbury's Cricket and Crunches. Oh, Triple oh, C. Oh, I like this. <laughs> You've got this. I'm starting it that. now. <laughs> let, let me give you some practical advice. Because, you know, look, as, as Lachlan said, we, we've been, I've produced probably about seven, eight hundred, nine hundred podcasts mm -hmm. in the last three or four years alone, right? Right. Start with yourself. Forget everyone else. Mm -hmm. Don't don't think about who's listening to it. Start with, it's almost like catharsis, right? You know, like you want to get out from inside of you what you want to say about right. chocolate, cricket, and crunches, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> 
that's what you want to do so start with yourself mm -hmm. figure out your tone of voice and and then from there you take the next episode then the next episode the next episode start with three minutes then go to four then go to seven then go to ten and then just figure out from there but start with yourself forget who will hear it no, no, how are you going? You've got Perfect. advice from two industry experts. This Neil. is fabulous. Do we need to check on with you, check in next week to see how you're going? With I'm, I'm, I'm writing it down and this is, this is a good idea. You could probably be my, you know, the, the tap on the shoulder. Where have you reached? Yeah, we could do the, 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 the checks each week. Look, we could talk to you for hours, Guy. We, hours, we really do appreciate you coming in. Uh, Vic, uh, a plug for your business, the Creative Agency. If creative want, Content Agency. Creative Content, yeah. Kate, uh, the creative Content Agency and the four Ps. Yeah, the we need four to Ps. Work on. It's, a, it's a training it's training that we do. It's a workshop that we have, which is plan, produce, publish, and promote. So if you think about when you pull out your phone, you go onto social media, and you see people who are, you know, they, they seem like they do well about what they do, then... You know, they, the reason that people know about them is because of the amount of content that they, that they create. Mm -hmm. They could be experts in the industry or whatever it might be. So we help people like that put together a content strategy through the through the four P's, which is plan, right. produce, publish, and promote. And uh, I've done the course, and it's pretty good. I will Ooh. also say that. And uh, you done it? Yeah, a couple of years cool, ago, man. I did it. Yeah, it was it was really interesting, and really? I actually sat back and thought, oh yeah, this this it just it it actually lifts you out and makes you look at yourself and your content at least what I took out of it, yeah. from a, a user's point of view of, oh, that's good, or that's good, or that's inconsistent, or that needs to be just more of that. Yeah, I felt like a failure when I did it. What, what <laughs> I was, was that? Like, failure? Was, you got one of the great podcasts. I was, just, I was just like, oh, my goodness me, I've got it all wrong, you know. But, but you know, because you, you think you know what you're doing. But, yeah, I mean, I've done their course. You've done it as well. I've I learned so much, and, and it got me kind of like on track and that's what you need to be when you learn that kind of stuff you need to be on track you need to know you know it's like investing in education learn right. learn 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 and you'll get better yeah definitely the spencer lodge podcast available at all good places where you get podcasts some um, two 200 how many episodes now yeah, so over, over 200 now i um, mean really incredible guests but uh, and, and pick and choose the stuff you like we've got a lot of work gone into crypto in recent time we've done a lot of work with people doing uh, superhuman things we've had gary v and tony robbins and all those guys on there as well mm -hmm. So, you know, personal development has been something that's important to me. Mindset training is important as well. Marissa Peer has been on. We've had them all. So, um, yeah, go check it out. So you can get that and the book as well. You've got how to uh, make it happen. Yes, so I, I wrote happen. a book a few years ago, years ago called Making It Happen, The Ultimate Guide to Selling, because I could just see people just didn't understand what sales was. And that came from me looking at the real estate industry here in Dubai and looking at how many real estate brokers there were mm -hmm. and how many real estate brokers probably shouldn't have been real estate brokers I needed, <laughs> <laughs> I needed to learn well, you, a bit. You, you could probably revisit that over the last 12 months <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, there, there are some really great real estate brokers but there's a lot that needs a lot of work but um, that's, a, that's a whole other conversation well, well Spencer thanks for coming in and being so generous with your time uh, the Spencer Lodge podcast that we've been discussing because it is International Podcast Day here on TSB Talksport Business <laughs>